Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, this is going to be kind of like the Monster High update. There's not really that much to update on. It's just I put the reboot dolls up on display instead of being like in that little hole. It's just going to be a little bit more chatty, just talking about Monster High. And I've just been feeling really nostalgic about Monster High. And yeah, I mean, that first video was kind of a disaster, I feel. Um, and hopefully I've gotten better at this YouTube thing. Uh, so, yeah, let's just, let's just talk about the ghouls and the monsters. Um, I guess I'll just start over here and show you my very first Monster High doll. And that would be Skull Shores Abbey. Which I think is kind of funny because I think this is Brooke's first doll too, like ex Canadensis. Um, and... Skull Shores Laguna. My husband slash boyfriend at the time, yeah, my husband now, boyfriend then, got her for me when I got Abby. And the rest is history because he is nothing if not an enabler. And that kind of just spiraled into this. Um, the Monster High Room, I call the love letter from my husband like this is like just a giant not personification but just physical embodiment of you know our relationship our love how he feels toward me uh which is why monster Heights, Mo i mean monster Heights what got me into dolls it got me into collecting um it just snowballed you know but they were the gateway into everything that I love now and I'm really excited that they're coming back and I hope that it lives up to this you know but let's okay this is like the signature shelf but let's start over here this is like a little oh that's dusty someone's gonna read me for that um yes I know my dolls are dusty um there's way too dang many of them for me to even try to just Patience is what I do not have, and you need a lot of that. But here are, like, the couples sets. Uh, Frankie Picnic Casket with uh, Jackson. I remember when I found him. Well, found them. Um, like, the town scalper. <laughs> um, got there after me, and I already had my pick and, like, found the one that I wanted, you know? And he bought, like, the whole rest of them. And Toys R Us just let him oh yeah they're a toys r us exclusive and so i thought that was kind of crazy and then rochelle and garrett garrett i think they were a toys r us exclusive too i don't remember the name of the set um yeah i like my brain cannot hold this much information gulia and slomo i think they too were a toys r us exclusive uh, Gil and Laguna. I found them at Walmart. That was a cool day. Um, I think they're called Wild and Werecats or something. This this uh, this set with the restyled Gulia scooter. I think we dub we the fans dubbed these I Heart accessories, but it's Honey and Rebecca. I think I found them at Barnes and Noble. And, like, they have, like, the 20% off thing on them. But, like, they're really quite beautiful and really underrated. I feel like a lot of people don't know that these dolls exist. Um, I hate these dolls. I mean, like, I don't hate them, but I think they're just, like, a waste. Um, this Frankie is super, super ugly to me. I hate these bangs. I hate this Frankie, like, screening. I don't know. Uh, the Venus is pretty. Ghoul chat iconic i think they were a kmart exclusive and they're one of the best two packs that they've ever done my country is yellowing a little but what can you do rochelle the, just like the pastel theming was just perfect um i guess i'll try to like talk about any memories that i might have with them there's issy lorna kirsty um, Wisp, Valentine, they're the, they're Comic-Con exclusive. And then Webarella is a Comic-Con exclusive in her second outfit. 
Torlai. Torlai's a doll that I got really late after Monster High had already, like, died the first time. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, I got her on Mercari. Like, the seller was, like, crazy. Like, they sold her for, like, $30. And I was like, yup. Um, new Scare Master, Gigi. Uh, what's his name? Finnegan Wake, I think. Um, the three pack for Blue York with Luna, LED, and Mouse Sadies, and the two pack, the Werecat, the Werewolf sister pack, Halloween. She's like really cute. The Claudine is beautiful too. Um, my favorite Comic Con set would be this one. Like, I love Manny Tar. I think he's my favorite. Oh, he is my favorite boy doll. And Iris is so amazing. Um, Laguna. Laguna I got late, too. She's an original. Someone sold her for, like, $19 with, like, all her stuff on Mercari, too. So, yeah, go on Mercari, guys. Then there's Gil. He's from the Toys R Us exclusive, like, two-pack with Deuce, I believe. Claudine. Uh, I only have re-releases. I got into Monster High in 2012. Um, I would like to have, you know, originals of all the girls, but wishful thinking. This Dracula is really pretty, though. Uh, Claude, Dracula, Frankie, Holt. Holt is, like, my prized possession. <laughs> He's so good. Um... Cleo and Deuce, um, they better be, like, on, like, a break and not a breakup in this reboot, because I'm not about it. They cemented themselves as an amazing couple. Uh, Gulia, Gulia's one of the best, um, signature dolls, and Slomo, he's from the Student Disembodied 5 pack. Um, over here is Spectra, mine's kind of wonky, so we're not gonna see her face. Um, Heath and Abby... Jackson and Venus, Rochelle and Rebecca, these three ladies, when they came out, yes, everything. They're pets. Um, Operetta's another one that I think is really underrated. She's got real denim on her pants, like, uh, in the beginning, uh, this was, their first, those first, like, three years of Monster High. Uh, new Scare Master Twyla, who I'm using as, like, the signature doll here. Uh, Scalita, I have a couple Scalitas uh, because, you know, she's Latina and Mexican. She's my favorite, like, ghoul, I think, that is non main sex girls. Cupid and Nephra. And Nephra is another acquisition from Mercari. Such a good deal that I got on her. Melody Persephone. Um, with the character encyclopedia. Let me know if you want to, like, a video on the character encyclopedia. I think I mentioned that in the first video, too, but it's such it's such an amazing book. Um, more signature dolls here with Marisol, um, Patsy, Katrine, Jennifer. Why are you looking at my girlie? Caddy, um, Costa, Invisibility, Gilda Goldstein, don't know why we got that doll, but okay. Um, Jane Boolittle, Headless Headmistress, Bloodgood. This is um, Ghoul's Night Owl and some Student Disembody pack dolls with signature, I guess, Caddy. Like the 13, part of the 13th release. Um, oh yeah, my husband surprised me because we had a friend that worked at Kmart and they managed to get her like a week early. So that was cool. They they pulled her out of the back for me. I don't know if they ever got in trouble for that, but it was really awesome. Um, here's like my little Ghoulia corner with Sir Who's a Lot. Um, that's all the movies back there. Here are, um, what are these called? The classroom dolls? I don't remember, uh, but... It's Frankie, Gulia, and Laguna. Some of the best literal dolls. Uh, I really miss seeing these dolls like on shelves and stuff. Um, what 
what are these called? Back to school or something? I don't remember. But they're all incredible. Cleo was also a Mercari acquisition. Um, she was like a grail of mine, like holy, holy, holiest of grails. I thought it was funny that like when I first started getting into collecting, this Laguna was everywhere, like inundated everywhere. You couldn't find anybody else but this dang Laguna. Um, this Claudine is amazing. The art class dolls, um, her elastic got all wonky and popped. Uh, Skeleta is my favorite, but Dracula in yellow is always good. Rebecca. These, I found at Toys R Us. They were on, not on the shelf. They were, like, in the box above, like, you know, the aisle. And my husband just, like, we, like, did a quick cursory look. He just pulled them down and we were like, bye. And just <laughs> grabbed them. Um, so these are I Heart shoes and I Heart purses? I Heart bags or something. Um, I Heart accessories. I can't remember them. But, oh my god, this Dracula is so dusty. Also, I love this Dracula. I love that she's got gloves. I know a lot of people hate um, her gloved hands because like they're, like, big. But I love her. Um, I found them at Big Lots. Finding them was, like, a chore, man. And then... Skeleta and Operetta, I think I found at Kohl's. Um, these... Garden Ghouls? I don't know what they were called. I don't think it's Garden Ghouls, but, like, they're one of the better things that came out of the reboot. The reboot was, like, obsessed with putting Abby in black. I don't know why. I'm not I'm not that much of a fan of that. This Rochelle's really beautiful, though. Um, the sports dolls. Spectre is my favorite. Um, let's, I guess, go down up. Here is Freaky Fusion. This is always a fun thing to do. This movie was wild. Like, Freaky literally dies in that movie. Um, here are the Fusion Girls. Uh, they're kind of lackluster. Like, they're pretty, but like, they're kind of lackluster for me because it's just Lettuce Claudine. Robot, Draculaura, Cat Cleo, Dragon Laguna, you know? I think they could have done a little better in combining them. Um, there's those monstrosities. Some of the worst dolls ever released by Monster High, in my opinion. Um, here is the... What are they called? Hybrids? Yeah, Bonita is literally so amazing. Um, Nathan Rott has the unfortunate moniker of being the ugliest monster high doll i think he's so ugly i wish he was pink i don't know why the rotted face like gulia and Slomo do not have rotted faces i don't know why they did him so dirty oh there's sir frankie back there i actually really like that line it's cute i like it uh sirena is so pretty her hair is an actual nightmare and i'm scared to even touch it oh Evia is really cool too I wish we'd gotten, like, a, just a straight-up centaur. Um, this is kind of like collector dolls. Um, over here is the collector Ghostbuster Frankie. I think from 2016? I don't remember. But a lot of people don't like this doll. I love this doll. Frankie's face didn't really trigger me that bad from the, the reboot. Abby. She's fine. Like, a lot of black on her. I could do without. If that was like white or pink, I think it'd be prettier. Just Abby excels in pastels. Oh. Uh, this Skeleta. I'm like triggered that I only have one because she's amazing. I wish I had one in box because I say that, but I probably would have opened her anyway. She's so, 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 so pretty with this like skeleton lace. Everything about her is so amazing. Draculara, everyone knows what this Draculara. This Dracula is like the pinnacle. It's what the this doll was like. I think thirty five dollars. So the fact that the um, Hong Couture dolls are seventy five, I don't know. It's a little steep. I can't wait for mine to get here, but well, my Frankie. I really want the other ones though. I think Dracula is the best. Um, Zombie Gaga, Lady. 
Gaga. This is how you do a collab, guys. Like, this doll's incredible. The... I think this was a Mattel shop exclusive. Like, I think it was supposed to be a... Um... Comic-Con thing, but I don't think they ended up going that year. So they made it a Mattel shop exclusive, and I love them. Like, with, like, their eyes looking at each other. This best friend pack. It's so, so, so good. I still have the box, but, like, in between these shelves in that dark corner in the abyss, there's, like, a stack of boxes <laughs> that, like, I never see because I'm not down to do that. Here are... Here's Scaris. Scaris is, like, what really, really... I feel like exploded with Monster High. This line was huge. And... So, I think I found Claudine first, but I was, like, you know, fiending for Skeleta. Uh, Frankie's, okay. Um, Abby and Dracula. For some reason, like, I was just not really into them. Uh, Katrine was amazing. This Laguna's so beautiful. I, I think she's one of the best Lagunas in general. Rochelle. Rochelle's always beautiful. This Claudine is amazing. I love all her pieces. Like, this delicate lace here. This doll is amazing. These, like, shoes. I know, it's dusty. Um, Skeleta's amazing. I think this is my pretty Skeleta in my whole collection. It's why she is in Scares. Jennifer. Amazing. Um, this Skeleta is amazing. Like, these, the Skeleta and Cleo are so good. I love this shoe mold. And then Deuce. Deuce was wild. Like, my husband has so many Deuces. Um, here's Great Scare Reef. It's not that I like them more, it's just I needed more space to, like, hang them. So that's why they're at the top. Um, I got a couple of these in Anaheim on, like, a family Disneyland trip. I think it was Torlai and Frankie. They were at Big Lots. I think I got Laguna at Barnes & Noble. Laguna's one of the best mermaid dolls ever. I love this doll. Um, I really wish that the mermaids dolls had this joint, like, that. I wish they had that. Uh, Claudine and Draculara. I think they were a Walmart exclusive. Walmart exclusives. Um, the drama with this Claudine man. Because they, like, made her purple. Not good. Uh, Posey. Calamari. Perry and Pearl. They're so pretty. Okay, here's more, like, plush and, like, figures. Um, this Claudine is literally orange in person. Like, actually orange. Um, Dracula is the best, I think. Uh, let's just do, like, the... The mini vinyls. This is, like, my favorite non-doll Monster High merch. The vinyls. I think I said that in the other video. I'm haunted by the candy ones that we didn't get of them. Or, like, the leaks of, I think, Katrine and Jennifer and, like, New Scaremaster. The other ones, yeah. Um, Haunted, I think, is my favorite movie line. It's just so good. It's the pastels. It's everything. I don't know if I mentioned it in the first video, but, like, does anybody else, like, want to eat her chains and her shoes? It looks like the honey from Winnie the Pooh, straight up. It looks so delicious. Uh, Vandal is so good. I love the the new stand. I love when Monster High put the effort in and gave us new stands and stuff like that for every, um, movie line. This Rochelle is literally a unicorn. I had to order her from eBay, Mexico. I never saw her in person. Like, let me know if you saw her, but, like, never. I never, ever, ever saw this doll in person. There's Kiyomi and Porter. And River. River's one of the cutest things. I love the the younger sister slash shorter body. Here is Fright's camera action. Um, I have a lot of opinions on like the, the secondary line that wasn't introducing like, the main ghouls. Um, I dislike all of their looks. I didn't understand what they were going for. These weird beads and pearls. I didn't get it. This Laguna is just kind of a travesty. Her hair is just bad. She's not very well rooted. This this Claudine is pretty, like really pretty in the face. Um, I just don't like the bags or the shoes or any other accessories. In the face, she's gorgeous though. 
Like this Cleo is so pretty. But that dress, those shoes. Dracula is cute. I love Elizabeth, her like gothic Lolita aesthetic, Viperine. Um, Hexakaya, Steam. He was, this is a Comic Con exclusive, but they're in the movie like this. Uh, so that's why I put them here. Um, this Rebecca, I don't particularly care for. Um, her head can only swivel. Her joints can't do very much because it's that shiny material. She's impossible to photograph. Honey, Honey was one of the best dolls ever released, in my opinion. Amazing. Claudia, I love the open mouth on her. They did such a good job on her. This Operetta, I'm pretty sure it was a Walmart exclusive. She wasn't too, too hard to find. I think she was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive too. If you're in the Rainbow High fandom, you'll know that, you know, Walmart should never get exclusives. Here's Gloom and Bloom. I think this was like right before the reboot too. But it's such a good line. Ooh, look how dusty those stands <laughs> are. Um, Jane. I think Jane is better than her signature doll by a lot. Um, she is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, Venus. I think Venus has Kanekalon hair. And I hate Kanekalon hair. It's so hard to take care of. Like, I wet it a little bit. And now it's just, like, bad. I think she's got Kanekalon, too. Uh, Jennifer and Cleo were Target exclusives, and I remember when Target would just clearance crap out, and these dolls were like $5 at one point, and I was so dumb, and I did not get extras. I wish I had. I'm gonna need a nightshade. I think her, like, bakery sweets one that comes with, like, Nefra was a lot better. But she's really pretty. Uh, Katrine, I think this might be my favorite Katrine. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Scarily Raptor slash Scary Tails. That's a customized hold hide. I think he's wearing a pull-up outfit. Um, yeah. I think I got these on clearance at Target, too. They were, like, $10 each. So, yeah, score. Here's Skultimate Roller Maze. This is one of the differences. I think the Reboot dolls were over here at first. Here's the Ultimate Ruler Maze. I I feel like we were robbed. Dracula and Cleo. Um, this Claudine though, she's so so pretty. I want more pastel Claudines, please. Well, I wanted. Gulia. Um, I wish that they hadn't given Laguna a cute hairstyle because I don't want to smush that. So her hat is never on. These are like the Coles exclusive. Operetta and Claudine. I think they have like fashion packs too, like where you could just get the fashion, but like I managed to find the dolls. Um, Day at the Mall or something. Uh, this Dracula is originally, I think, a Gloom Beach Dracula. I don't know what I did with her, but um, I put her off it on this reboot one because I thought this reboot doll had a really, really sweet, beautiful face. But I, this is my favorite Frankie screening. I love when Frankie looks like this, when she just looks mean as hell. Okay, sorry about the jolting. Here is 13 Wishes. This was an awesome, like, day. Do you guys have, like, doll senses where you just know the store that you're going to go to has what you're looking for? Like, I remember waking up, like, at 7 o'clock and looking at Chris, my husband, and being like, the Toys R Us has them. Like, I know Toys R Us has them right now. And... We, like, got ready. We went to Toys R Us at 9 o'clock when they opened. And they had Halloween and Twyla and Laguna. They had uh, Haunt the Caspa, Draculara, Frankie, and Claudine. They didn't have Abby because Abby is a Walmart exclusive. Um, Gigi wasn't out yet officially. I found Gigi at a Love's gas station of all places. So random. And I found... This Spectre before I found the other girls, I think, um, at Kmart. Km my Kmart here, where I live, used to be, like, chef's kiss. Amazing. They always got, like, amazing stuff first. This Cleo I got at Toys R Us 2. 
Her playset is down there, though. I gave it to Swim. But let me just... Blonde Abby, a moment. GG. I can tell by her, like, hair bands are rotted. I'm like, never gonna touch this doll ever again. Twilight. Twilight's one of my favorite characters in general. She's so pretty. I know that Halloween's the main character, but I like them better. I don't care. This Halloween is amazing, though. Like, her Nicki Minaj aesthetic. It's so on the money, like, on the nose. Her, the, like, the, the era, 2013 era she's from. This is giving, like, Nikki's clothing line at uh, Kmart, you know what I mean? There's Spectra. Laguna. I love this Laguna. I love this look on Laguna, even though, you know, it's problematic because she, like, changed her ethnicity for a man. Her race. Here is Boo York. That's the... Nephra Comic-Con exclusive. I don't know why, I just never wanted to open her. And I don't even think that they made a Nephra. Yeah, they didn't make a Nephra. One of those. Um, here are like the, the new girls. I found them at Toys R Us, I'm pretty sure. Luna, LED, and Mercedes. I love the puns. Bring back the puns. I wish I'd got more Luna dolls though. She was such she is so beautiful. I love everything about Luna. Um, I don't know why they did this to Mouse Ladies. Like when they do this stuff, like with Bunny Blanc, where they put like the eye shines on like the inner corners and outer corners equally, like instead of like, you know, I don't know, doing something like that where like they're on opposite sides, like on the same side. I don't know how to describe it, but like it gives them like that wall eyed effect. This um, caddy is so pretty. Astronova. I don't have any batteries on this, but she does just float. Because there's a magnet in there. Science. Cleo and Deuce. I think I got this at Toys R Us as well. Nephora. Um, these girls are kind of a mess. Um, I don't really care for their outfits. But they're okay. I don't think they came... Did they come with stands, guys? I don't remember. They must have. I just... I feel like I lost them. Or, like, things got rearranged in the move. Oh, yeah. I see an Abby over there that has one of their stands. Um, Here are, like, the Rockstar dolls. I don't remember what this line's called. I think it was all a Toys R Us exclusive, though. This was a three-pack, and this was a two-pack. Um, it was a really good set. Honestly, like, look at these shoes. The dragons. This Claudine is so pretty. I feel like I want to photograph her soon. Venus. I think I think Claudine's the best from the set. And then this two pack. This like asymmetry that they had going on was so so cool. For um Caddy and Torlai. Um, Sweet 1600. I have another Cupid, but, like, I want to, like, display it out there. I'll show you guys at the end. I've shown it before. Um, this was just such a unique, not unique, but just, like, a beautiful line. I wish we'd gotten, like, birthday lines for everybody. But, like, I'm not bothered by the tinsel in this line. This Dracula is so, so cute. I guess I should give her her own stand, but I kind of like Claude holding her. It's pretty cute. Um, Ghoul's Getaway. Oh. Bunch of stands back there. Uh, Ghoul get Ghoul's Getaway. Another, I feel like, line that was, like, kind of under the radar that people forget about. They're such a cool line. Like, I don't remember the twins. I think this is Persephone. Um, that's her. Spectra. I love the Spectra. Her shoes are so cool. And Caddy. Uh, what's your name, girl? Elizabeth's shoes are really cool, too. I think I found all these at Target. They might have been a Target exclusive, but I might also be full of crap. Jane. It was just such a unique bunch of ghouls that they picked for this set. 
It was really cool. The Werewolf Family Pack. This was a Walmart exclusive, I'm pretty sure. It was a nightmare trying to find a set that had all good faces on all of them. I liked, like, the matching. It was so cute. Okay. I don't know. Do you guys like long videos? Let me know. That This is kind of going to be a long one, I think. Um, here is Dead Tired. Iconic. I love Sleepover Lines, so anything like this is so good. Spectra, Jaguar, Laguna, Abby. Abby's. I don't know what Abby has against me, but her dang eye mask, like the elastic just like pulled. Um, Gulia and Cleo, Rebecca, Frankie, and Claudine. I heart fashion. It's incomplete. I never, ever, ever found Cleo or, um, Venus ever in person. Like, I literally never saw them. Like, we traveled, like, hours and hours away to look for these girls, and they, like, never showed up in anywhere near me and now they're astronomically expensive and they're just dolls that I know I will never have in my collection and that's such a disheartening and sad thing. First of all problem thing but that Cleo and Venus were amazing. Here's Abby and Frankie. Frankie's so good. Scara. I remember we all crapped our pants when this doll was announced and Iris. I love Iris so much. Claudine. Wisp. And Wydonna. Here is Dawn of the Dance. The best doll dance line of all time. Like, not even an exaggeration. This deuce is amazing. I loved when they introduced this head with, like, his, like, brush to the side. Um, snakes. I got him on Mercari too. The seller literally had him for 25 I never bought something so fast in my life. N maybe her. I bought her for really cheap too, like $30. This doll's like a unicorn as well because she was in a three pack with Frankie and Claudine, I think. Uh, this clear is the re release one. I have the actual one somewhere, uh, but it's when they had the elastic in her limbs and so bad. I have this one too somewhere, like her original one, but mine's kind of bad in the face and this Frankie was prettier. Um, I love this like style of face on Frankie too, but like I think that's my favorite style of face on Frankie when they get it like the eyes placed correctly, but also like this one's really, really beautiful. Gulia, Gulia was another one that I got on Mercari. Frankie, Dracula, Claudine, always looks so good in Lime, Laguna. This line was just insane, guys. Sweet Screams, Target Exclusives. The, this was quality. So, so good. I really wish we got like a Series 3, like a Rock Candy Rochelle or something. That would have been really beautiful. Here's Dracula and Frankie from Wave 1. I love when they, like, colored Frankie stitches and everything. And Gulia and Abby. Socks. They're pets. Ooh, it is kind of dusty. I've got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Sorry about that. Zombie shake. I got these at Justice. I hated when Justice started getting dolls because they were, like, running the, that crap scam sale. I think that's why they went out of business. Um, and they're like, buy this and get this sale. It's like, you'd get it for, like, retail price everywhere else, but, like, they tell you it's on sale. Scam! Rochelle's my favorite, I think. I love the crack motif, like, the cathedral. I love when, like, they did the more gothic motifs on Rochelle, too. Venus, Melanie, Persephone. Again, like, another set of dolls that were, like, unique for a line. Swim. Swim is, like, Pacific Coast good to me. Like, this set is so, so good. Like, here's Wave 1, girls. Wave 2. 
I think like this line and this line were just as exclusive, unfortunately. I was calling Justice literally every day. They hated me. So good. Oh, I rebodied him on like an original hold hide because I wanted his articulated body for a hold that I want to play with. One of my favorite Frankies of all time also. So beautiful. And I love that cute little like long bob on Rochelle. Just a great, I think I have the No Teeth Dracula. That lagoon is so good. Okay, here's the Lundoom dolls. Ghouls and Lundoom, however it's called. Are any of them British? Is Elizabeth British? I can't even remember. And then there's some reboot dolls back there. I guess I should like try to find a better place for them. It's the Laguna with, uh, what is that? A scooter and the Frankie with the bike. I hate that articulated body. Why even bother? Just give her her wrists. Somebody dropped something. Oh, that's Cleo's. Okay. Um, I love her galoshes or her wellies, as they call them there, I, I think. Her Wellingtons. I have Wellingtons, wellies. I don't know, her galoshes. I love that. Um, Alyssa Bat, she's so like preppy and like not preppy, mod. Is that mod? Um, I don't really like this Viperine. I don't like all the colors they picked. And Caddy's really good. Here is Music Festival. This Draculaura and Claude set was a Kmart exclusive. There's Abby. Oh, I do have her. This is a customized uh, Laguna that I did not even realize I had still as like a mermaid character. She's wearing a uh, Michelle Mermaid's outfit and I think she honestly looks better in it from Ever After High. Um, wow. Stay here, girly. Claudine and Venus. Okay, so like that uh, 13 Wishes Hall. They also had, um, Abby, Claudine, and Venus there. And they had this two-pack and the Heath and Abby two-pack. Like, that was, thank God for Layaway, man. I secured all of them. So good. Such an amazing day, an amazing day. That's, like, one of, like, my most vivid dollhead memories. Um, here are, like, the sporty dolls. The Frankie's, like, in a fashion pack. Yeah, this Dracula is so yellow. I have no idea. Um, but the Dracula is super cute. She's from that three-pack with Cleo and Goya. I love this Goya so much. Um, slow-mo. I was, like, rabid for slow-mo. Every slow-mo that I found, I know it's such a crap hole thing to do, but I bought him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Um, the Werecats three-pack. I feel like a lot of people thought that was fake. Um... My picture with Garrett Sanders at Disneyland when I was being a weirdo and found him just enjoying a beignet. Uh, some Monster High Minis, the Funko Pops. A lot of people don't know that these existed and here they are. Power Ghouls. This line was crazy, what, including my Donna. This is the doll that my husband proposed to me with. I don't want a ring. I just want an expensive pretty doll. Wonder Wolf. Catastrophe. Barbarella. Slash Waydona. Um, what's her name? Voltageous. And Poltergool. These were Target exclusives, except for Webrella. Here is Picture Day, and uh, included um, the Scooter Gulia. So here is the operator with the correct mask. That was a nightmare. I don't know what the heck they were thinking when they did that. Oh, they're so dusty. Sorry. 
um, Laguna, so pretty. This Frankie, this Frankie is one of my favorite. Whenever they gave Frankie bangs, I was a rabid animal, especially when they gave her high ponytail, get out of here. And they gave her yellow and they just gave her that saturated blue color, that cobalt color. Oh, she's so good. Claudine, uh, new Scaremaster back there. She was just by herself because I put the other new Scaremaster dolls on like the signature shelf. Draculaura. I took a while to fall in love with Draculaura. I don't know. I, I didn't really like, like her at first, but I think she's really pretty. Uh, I cover this Spectra's face because I hate this like screening for Spectra. She looks like a dog to me. Like an actual dog. I hate that screening. Oh, okay. Um, here's Cleo. I love that they gave her this like teal and blue color. The Scooter Gulia. And Abby. Abby with bangs was really good. The outfit's so Lizzie McGuire. Like dreadfully stuffed by Duff. But she's so pretty in the face. Uh, Ghoul's Rule. A movie line that's just kind of me. It's the first movie line, you know. Um, This is a customized Claudine. I hated her outfit. I really regret it now. But I still really love this doll. Um, Cleo. This Dracula is amazing. Frankie. And Abby. Abby's so... Like, if you're gonna give Abby black, that. That's it. There you go. No. Nothing else. Um, these, like, study abroad dolls, I cannot remember what they were called. But she was in Shibuya, and she went to Madrid, I think. Uh, amazing, 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 amazing dolls. Amazing bags, amazing shoes. Just an amazing set of dolls. Foreign Exchange, I think that's what it was called. Um, this, like... Toys R Us exclusive, like, playset. I think Cleo came with basically the Scarus playset, but, like, with cupcakes and stuff. She's so pretty. I love Cleo's face in the reboot because her eyes are bigger and she was less likely to be wonky. Um, this Nefra is so beautiful. It's kind of, like, giving... I don't know, that... It's, she looks, just looks really old. You know what I mean? Like, that top, it's very Kohl's. Um... This Amanita is beautiful. I love that they gave her socks and these high shoes and like the lace. The sculpted gloves, I don't mind. I love when the gloves are sculpted because I hate like that extra fabric. Here is Cleo and Gulia from the Mad Science 2 pack. So cute. And the uh, field trip dolls. Um. I love teal on Torlay. What a unique thing that we didn't know we needed. Okay, so here's dance class. Um, they're kind of fallen, but it's fine. Uh, what a scam to make me buy all of them. And then I have to get Rochelle and um, go in that stupid pack. Here they are. And then these are the Creepateria. She is a doll from the Student Disembody Pack. A Creepateria, Cleo, uh, Dracular, and Halloween. And this Deuce was in the two pack with Gil where they were playing like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. Okay, here is Freak Du Chic. So there's Rochelle. She came with the big playset. Frankie is like the magician. Twyla. This is my favorite Twyla, I think. As like the stilt walker or whatever they're called. Um, we were robbed that that Manny Tar. Please. Why did they tease us so? Glypey. Iconic. Honey. This honey is crazy. Like her limbs are so loose because she's a marionette. Um, Torlai. Torlai with long hair. I'm sorry. I love it. I hate short hair on dolls. And this doll's so beautiful. It's the best Torlai. This, like, black and white, like, vintage fire ringleader. 
Claudine is incredible. I don't know why they had to change her skin, but like, it's kind of cool. And Fire Breather Jennifer. This line was so amazing. Okay, so let me try to remember correctly. I think Skeleta, Claude, and Draculara were like a three set that was released. And I think Heath, Howleen, uh, Spectra, not Spectra, Scara, and Elizabeth were a set. This is the Helm Ick Abbey. I just put her here with Heath because I used Heath over there as my basic Heath. But they were like in different sets. But they all had like the, the carnival like feel to them. So that's why they're all here. This Skeleta is so pretty. Heath has like those goofy glasses on. Here's Elizabeth selling cake pops, I think. Howleen is so cute. She's kind of serving Pinkie Pie. Um, Scara, I don't know why she keeps falling. She was like car wash. It was kind of weird. Uh, I love this, Draculaura. I love when they gave her like that baby blue color and the pink. This Claude is fun. He's like the strong man or whatever. Like that. He was in charge of that ride where you like hit something. This bag is from Hot Topic. It's like just brand new. Just got released this month, I think. Um, I have two because I'm crazy. Because after I saw how beautiful it was, I was like, well, I can't use that. Uh, so I bought another one and <laughs> I used that one. Here's just like a mishmash. There's coffin bean dolls here. She's in the coffin bean uh, outfit. I think it was just a uh, fashion pack. She was that was for her. I wish I had coffin bean Draculara, but I got coffin bean Claudine. Um, Rebecca, this Rebecca is so pretty with the bangs. Again, longer hair on Torlai. I love her with the houndstooth skirt. This Frankie's so pretty with the side sweat bangs. I actually love, like, it's, I feel like it looks kind of mod, no? Like, her, like, super, um, loud color scheme and asymmetrical shoes. This Venus is so good. I love, like, the meshy, like, grungy dress. There's Laguna. Uh, Twyla's so pretty. I don't really care for this really dark color in her hair. I like it more when she's more pastel -y. This Abby's really pretty. Hate those boots. And then here is Gloom Beach with Jackson right there. Don't have his shoes. This Frankie's so pretty. I love this Guya. For a while, like last year or two years ago, these were still in like my Walgreens. Uh, this, just this, um, Claudine and Cleo. This Cleo so pretty. Draculaura and Claudine. Here's like a real mishmash uh, before we hit the reboot over here. Oh, and here's giant Skeleta. I think her eyes change. Where is it? On top of her head, right? Behind her head. Oh, yeah. Cute. I think she was only like $30 too. Um, that's just a bunch of random dolls in the back, like restyles of dolls that I just play with. Doubles. The B girl, I just took her her wig away. Uh Rebody Jackson, I don't know what we're gonna do. With here's Dotted Gorgeous. Um, I have a lot of them redressed. Except for Laguna, Abby, and I have no idea where Dracula is. I swear I have her somewhere. Here are like those like workout ghouls where they're, they're doing yoga and stuff. But I gave them shoes because I hated and them. Except for Laguna apparently. You don't get shoes, girly. But I think these were like at Big Lots. And then there's the werewolf sister pack. Claudine. I love the one sock. Um, I have her socks. I don't know why she's not wearing them. I want to, like, 
and I love myself. This uh, Diner Dracula is so beautiful. <laughs> and then the Closet Dracula. I have no idea what I did with that closet though. I lost a lot of- I didn't lose a lot of stuff in the move. I just like let go of a lot of stuff in the big move. Like the play sets. I was like, I don't need those. Uh, Skull Shores is right here. And I redressed. Uh, this uh, Cleo is on a reboot unarticulated body because hers was like wrecked and mangled. Just I don't know why her body like had the elastic in the middle. It was just a bad time. Uh, I don't know what I did with her. Frankie's right there. What a weird Frankie. I wish I had the black and white one. Um, my first doll ever. It's a customized Galita. I don't know why. And a customized Iris. And then... Okay, this is probably my favorite line from the reboot. It's so cute. Like the pets... Frankie's pet right here. It's so cute. So here's Frankie and Cleo. All of their faces are so pretty. I didn't really appreciate like the whole like minimal makeup thing though. I was like, they're fashion dolls. What are you doing? I love, again, when they put Dracula in blue, especially that shade of blue. I love this poodle vampire bat thing. Um, I didn't really care for that. It looks like a Barbie toy. Uh, this Laguna is so pretty. Laguna's face in the reboot was so beautiful. Here's Frankly Tall. Pass with Dracula. Frankie. God, this video is going to be an hour long. I'm sorry, guys. Elizabeth. And Claudine. Okay, so here's like the signature dolls. Olivia, what a mess. I have her other one back there, too. Dracula, what a mess. I hate you, but here is Laguna and Cleo. They're so good. I thought they, that they were really well executed. I didn't mind the signature dolls all that much. Here's Claudine. Oh, these pants are a wreck. In theory, I like Monica. I don't I, like. I dislike them for what they did. Like, bye, Gulia. Bye, Spectra. Here's these less better like these not as good copies uh shriek wrecked amazing probably one of the best things that the reboot gave us was shriek wrecked because i don't know it's just really good here's gil i love gail's new face uh laguna is so pretty rochelle i think they gave her smaller eyes it was kind of weird here's like their shoe socks and multiple layers and trim and big belts and scarves, headpieces, this Kraken piece. This Goliath is amazing. Just a Barbie 1989, 1959 stand. This Dracula is so pretty with the socks and everything. The ropes, the ropes, and like her rope shoes, everything. I don't remember her name. Something Treasure. She's like Davy Jones's daughter. Dinah Treasure. I don't know. Uh, Claudine and. Katrine. Love them. And then here's Dance the Fright Away. Not much to say. I have the deuce, but I hated his outfit, and he's wearing like a BTS outfit right now, and he's on display over there. I'll show you. Uh, she doesn't sing anymore, which is funny. She sounds like, like evil. I don't know. Will she even do it anymore? Nope. She's dead. This Monica is really pretty, though. Okay, I'm going to cut and show you what's in my actual room and not in the Monster High corridor. And, oh, there's that picture. I got that at Toys R Us. And then we'll be done. So here are the dolls that are in my actual bedroom. I'm just trying to get as many doubles of dolls that, signature dolls, just to like have the, this nice, big, pretty display in the room of like a school picture type thing. You know, it doesn't even have to be a signature doll. It just has to be like a double and I'm just going to pan through this. These are the dolls that like I just play with and stuff. There's some more right there. 
But thanks for watching and let me know what else you guys want for me in future videos. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.